Hey guys, um, I'm back. You guys probably didn't really notice I was gone, but like, you might have, I don't know. And, um, yeah, I promised I'd play Planet Zoo, didn't I? I did. Um, I'm not gonna do face cam anymore, at least for a few videos. Uh, just because the, the reason I'm not doing videos is because I just like will either don't have the time or just don't want to sometimes and like making myself look semi presentable for the video is too much so um yeah I'm just gonna record in my pajamas <laughs> um yeah so um we're here and we are going to make a zoo. Uh, I'm going to make it a franchise. Ooh, should I make it a franchise zoo? I'm going to do... Hmm. Should have probably thought through this first. Hey, I'm going to do franchise. I'm going to do a franchise. I have a couple other zoos, but I'll make a new zoo in my franchise. Um... <coughs> So in case you're wondering uh, what possessed me to suddenly make a video all of a sudden, um, my friend, uh, who you've probably seen in my comments gamerly, just passed me in subscriber count. <laughs> and it's not that I want to be to him, he, I mean, he posts more consistently than I ever have in the last, like, week or two. So, um, yeah. Go subscribe to gamerly on YouTube. He's probably in my comments section somewhere. Uh, our content very different. He does not do games. He does like rudimentary animations. <laughs> Strong word, but again, I'm not judging him. He does great, but oh, what is this area? Give me a second. You know, I'm not judging him. He does great, but um. Okay, I want to do medium difficulty. Try to type flat, and this is going to be. Let me look at my other zoos. So more than half of mine have zoo in them, and just the location they are. So I kind of... Wait, I'm going to move it then. I'm going to move it so I actually know where it is. Like, here. So let me know if I'm wrong. I can't change the name, really, but... There we go. Uh, in case you're wondering why I picked a desert, <clears throat> it's because I hate when snow happens, and then I am physically incapable of getting enough heaters to my animals, so they just, like, all start freezing, and it is, like, very annoying. Okay, well, let's get started quickly. Good little bit of water we have already. Let's get started quickly. Uh, so this is how I kind of format all my zoos to start. I pick a path that's going to be for that zoo. Uh, this one is already... I think it's Park at Wood. You know, here it is. There we go. I'm going to... Um... Yeah, sorry if I don't sound that energetic. I'm trying to sound more energetic. But um, yeah, it's been just such a long time since I've done this, and it's actually been a while since I played Planet Zoo as well, um, that I'm kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit rusty at Planet Zoo. I don't need these. I want these, but I don't need these. Okay. Should be water. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit better. I'm gonna take a while, it's whatever. I'll probably cut to whenever I have it done. Um, oh wait, no, I got it. I think I got it. I connect the paths, make them decently sized. I 
feel like these paths are big for some reason. I know there's normal sized paths, but it's just been a while, I think. Okay, I do that, right? Then, I moved so slowly that I sprint, and then, uh, not sprint, I hit shift to move faster, and then, you know. So we're gonna go over here. How much money do I have? So we, we're gonna get a very, very, like, bad habitat just to start. Um, just to make sure we don't get, like, you know, we don't go bankrupt trying to get everything. Because, you know, that'd be quite, that wouldn't be great. Um, so we also gotta go fast because we're just losing money by, like, the second. So, that's done. We're gonna pick our first animal. I like doing, there's a few animals I like, generally. Um, I'm gonna set it to all, any species, okay. <coughs> so let's look, let's look. So someone's been releasing a bunch of curviers, dwarf caiman. Now that happens often. Oh wait, no, that's all for my old zoos. Oh wait, no, these are just the animals I have. You know, we're gonna get new, well I could do some animals we have to save money. Yeah, this is what all my other zoos have. Of course, I have other creatures. I could do fed. Oh no, you are very old. Never mind. I couldn't. I'm not gonna do fennec foxes if you're so old. Hmm. So yeah, some of these I think I have, but I didn't have room for. I could do Thompson's gazelles to start. Just starting with only gazelles is like a little bit. It's a little bit like not great. I think they need a lot of space. So let's pick an animal that doesn't need a lot of space. Yeah, this is what I always do. I pick an animal that doesn't need a lot of space, that I can make their enclosure much better later. And that I've picked before, but don't have in this zoo yet. I like going with peafowls normally, because m most of my zoos have some kind of peafowls, because I was like my first ever creature. So I like, um, I like using them. Uh, I'll just look at, I'll look at peafowl in here. Ooh, fusas. I'm gonna look up fusa later, just for later. Oh, I forgot. So, yeah, I haven't played in a while. I have all the DLCs because I download them whenever they come out, but then I just don't play the game. So, I'm gonna, like, be looking at a bunch of these new ones that came out in the last, like, two DLCs. Um, okay, p Hmm. I can't find it. Okay, well, like, you two are great and all, but I, I need... I was looking for a... Peafowl. Indian Peafowl. There we go. Okay. Having... That would be a really good start, but it's, like, a lot of, um... You don't want to spend a lot of conservation credits, so... I'll spend a few. I think 50 will be my max here, so... So this one or this one. Well, this one is bad, so... I'm definitely going with this one, unless there's a cheaper one. For the male, uh, we, we're gonna get a female too, obviously. And, um, the female... Hmm. So this is definitely the best one. It's 140, though. What are you... You're all 50s. Um, hmm. Let's help other zoos, I guess. There we go. So now we got them too. We gotta build a quick enclosure. That looks nice, hopefully, but... So my goal is to make this a very nice-looking zoo. That is my, like, goal, goal. So, I'm gonna, oh, I'm actually gonna delete that, because, <clears throat> okay, there we go, you know, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna make it, like, its own little section, I'm gonna make the zoo into sections, like a real zoo does it, because I want to, I don't know, I have no other reason, to be honest, what, why did that stop, you know, it doesn't matter, it's fine. So we got this like thing that I'm gonna edit now, but um, okay. So <coughs> yeah, sorry I'm coughing so much. There's no real reason for it. I just am coughing, I guess. How do I remove the railing? You know what? Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna make the peafowl enclosure here. And, oh, I forget that I keep all my research, so yeah, I have all the research. Uh, so I'm gonna 
use it, I guess. If you guys don't want me to use it, um, comment it, I guess. Like, I don't know how I'd make it so I can't use it, but... If you guys know how to make it so that I just can do a zoo that's, like, completely normal and stuff, but I can't, but, like, I don't use research that I have in other zoos. If you guys want to do that, uh, please let me know, because I did a franchise because I did not know of that. Like I said, I haven't played in a long time. Um, I think the last time I played it was literally when I put it on the vote list. If this looks bad, uh, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, like I said, I'm trying to make it look like an actual zoo. Not like, well, from a, from a, like, guest's perspective, look like an actual zoo. Not like our perspective, because we are the perspective of, you know, we, we see all, but, yeah. So I like this little thing as our first enclosure. They can view it here, and I think the peafowls can walk through here. If not, I'll probably expand the path a little bit. Um, so we're just gonna try it. So peafowls can't climb, so I'll probably just, like, make this little part. Actually, I'll probably make this part. Brush. And I'll make that part of the path. Make this little part. So, you know. I realize it doesn't look great here. I'll probably... Actually, I'll just change it now. I'll make a Gaiban because... Also, tell me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, because I'm 90% sure I am, but, like, I've had no one to correct me, so... It matches more with the area. Yeah, and we're gonna add more scenery as soon as we start making money, but, uh, we are currently halfway through our money supply, so... You gotta get these... Oh, wait. Uh, well, I'm gonna schedule your delivery. And we actually have one star already, but, um... I don't have any staff to deliver that, so I forget staff. One caretaker, caretaker, keeper, mechanic, and I think there's one more veterinarian there. The rest of them are for later, if we need them, I guess. But I normally don't, don't. So yeah, you go get those Indian pea fowls, and I will actually just start um readying their enclosure for them. I'll do the plants when they're there, cause I like being able to see how they like the plants, cause I forget sometimes how they um. Uh, are with the plants but um yeah we're gonna go habitat species and now i know it's indian peafowl i'm gonna just go to there oh wait i think i missed the eye oh yeah there it is okay we're gonna get so i like using these water supplies instead of natural ones because natural ones are much harder to keep up <coughs> so you know Again, just give me your opinions on everything I'm doing here. That's, all, that's what I want. I want you guys to just share your opinions in the comments. And like and subscribe. And like and subscribe to Gamerly. Because, you know, he beat me and that's whatever. It's fine. I, I really don't care, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to put the food bowl here. So that they have to eat there. They'll probably eat in the forage box or whatever. So can you guys reach? I think... Oh, it definitely can reach there. It's going to right now in fact yeah perfect okay so that's good uh we're gonna get a mirror mobile i'm going to click on you see how you are doing i'm not looking at terrain yet uh enrichment your enrichment is 100 percent. okay environment okay we're gonna do terrain first because that gives me a good idea okay so these guys strangely oh no they they, they dislike sand never mind we got to get a lot of grass imported here <laughs> um that's fine see this is why i normally do temperate and not Desert, but I really I was I forgot if temperate still had snow sometimes and I was not risking snow so you know, We're just gonna like make this whole enclosure area uh, Grass And it'll just be like this little area is all grass And now that it's all grass which I think we're still losing money. I gotta get donation boxes here in a second I'm trying to make it cleanly all grass, so that, like, it looks good. Okay, anyway, so that's done. Uh, now I have too much grass short, so now I need some grass along in here. So let's get some grass along in here. They need hard shelter. Oh, they have way- they have more than enough room, so that's good. We'll get some rock, actually, around this. Um, and they actually didn't- 
terribly dislike sand. So we're going to get this little corner a sand. And yeah, we got the rock already, which I think looks a little different, but it could be just since nighttime. A little more grass along around here. And a little bit more sand and rock. Perfect. Okay, now I need to get hard shelter for them. I don't think I took them off the filter. No, I didn't. So we're just going to get them a nice little... Uh... Perfect, hard shelter. Okay, now they're going to get some beddings. Bedding, bedding. Okay. And that's them actually fairly good for all of their stuff, but we're going to get plants because I really like adding. Well, actually, we're going to make enough money. As soon as we hit a profit, I'll start adding plants. Uh, I don't. I clicked on the wrong one. <laughs> Whoops. So yeah, as soon as we start getting money, I'll start getting them plants and decorating really nicely. Um, but the thing is, I don't want to risk going bankrupt for decoration. So I'm going to put two donation boxes on either side of their sleeping one. Because people like to look at animals when they're sleeping. Because people are strange. <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. Um, so they got one there. I'll put one here. We just gotta remember to maximize here. So there and there. Okay. Got all the donation boxes down. We should get some education, actually. This one's only $30. Uh, I'll get this education board. I'll fix its rotation in a second. There. Dude. Oh, if it can't go like that, I'm just gonna like... Oh, this is so annoying how it can't like... Educational content. We're gonna do the amphibian extinction crisis. It's just the first one, so I always do it. Look at those frogs. I like frogs. Okay, so anyway. Oh, someone's visiting the zoo. Say hello to Danny... VT. I normally get two of these, actually. I get one per animal, just in case. But I think the peafowls will be fine. They're small enough. So, oh, we're turning a profit. I just saw. I just saw. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Nature. Okay, well, let's click on them and get their specific nature settings. Dude, 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 dude. Okay. The Attenborough Pitchers. Okay, so that didn't do much of anything, but yeah, we're just trying to get... We should go with some trees first, though. Um, because those are actually quite required and very good to have. They add for... They, they make for nice decoration as well. So if you guys don't think any of this is, like, correct, just let me know and I'll see it. And I'll probably change it. I'll probably change it off camera, but... You know, I'll, I'll show it when i back on camera. Um, if you guys are asking if I'm going to upload more consistently, which you guys probably aren't, the answer is still probably no. Um, just school just started again, and like, you know, I kind of missed my window during summer to do it because I went on vacation and then forgot to record uh, anything, for that matter. So, you know. I want to do the, the the desert areas with blackthorn bushes. I just like their look in deserts. Oh, we're about to hit their... Oh, we just hit over their limit. Uh, I'm going to get rid of something else. I'm going to get rid of the bamboo. I don't like the bamboo that much. I can get something else instead of the bamboo. You guys. Um, so... Oh, I'm still on here. I didn't even realize. So yeah, I went back down to 21. The bamboo did a lot. So we're going to... Get another blackthorn bush. Um, probably get some brackens. Some more bird nest ferns. Oh, I just realized I did brackens already. Um, so let's see. Different brackens, though. There. Do you guys think that looks good? Their enclosure looks fairly uh, decorated for now. I like 
that. And like one more thing, just like as a centerpiece here. I'll add like there. Perfect. Okay, I did not immediately take away from it. That's good. And cat tail reads. Perfect. I actually really like that whole thing. Again, we're gonna see if we can do one more thing. The answer is no. But about that one more thing. Okay, that's allowed. That's good to know. That's good to that's great to know actually. And one there. I think that's pretty good for now. For, you know, going back down in profits, I think that's pretty good. Okay, there we go. It's going up again. You know, whenever you buy stuff, it starts going down. I think that is a very nice first enclosure. I also think I kind of speed ran that a little bit, but, um... Oh, no, wait. Oh, shoot, it went over. Uh, oh, I think I placed one by accident. Yeah, okay. So... I'm actually going to move this one, because this one doesn't have a reason to be here. I'm going to move it to where I just had to delete one. Okay. So, yeah, that's, um... I, you can go into guest view, right? No, like, I... There we go. Look at, look at that view of those little guys. Oh, we got to name them. So, after these first videos, I'm going to tell you to just suggest names in the comments. I'll pick the next animal, so that you guys can, like, pick names for that. But then eventually we'll get into a thing where you guys pick the animal in one episode and name it for the next episode. And I think because it's the first episode, maybe I should end it already. I have been recording for 20 minutes. And I don't know how much I have to cut out of this. But we're going to name them first, obviously. Um, ooh, wait, let me... let me. Um, actually, I have an idea. Let me look up a name. Let me look up a name. I hope it wasn't too loud for you guys. Uh, I missed doing that, honestly. But, um, yeah, I got their names. Uh, so this is going to be... Magic. Oh, I forget that you have to... Give me a second. Magic. And... You guys might get these references. I just remembered, like, I haven't even watched... I, so, it's from a show. I haven't watched the show in a while. I'll just say it, it's DuckTales. And I haven't watched it in a while, but I just remembered it, and I thought it'd be it'd be fine. I, I know they're not ducks, clearly, but actually, oh look at this guy! Look at Mark Beaks. We'll just call him Beaks for short, but you know. Yeah, I just remembered the show, and I haven't watched it in a while, and you know, remember the people. So yeah, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, leave suggestions on how I can make this look better. Um, I know I could roughen up the terrain a little bit, but I didn't want to waste money on doing that immediately. So, you know, tell me if you guys want any roughening of the terrain. Uh, and, oh, oh, I said I'd pick the next animal. Okay, that's the last thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to pick the next animal. And, um, I'm going to pick an animal that I could make names for in case you guys don't leave any suggestions, which I, I'd suggest you do. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm a little biased anyway. That was the wrong thing. So, I'm thinking... I do some Curvier's Dwarf Cayman. And I'd have to get new Curvier's Dwarf Cayman because I'm going to be honest, um, most of these Curvier's Dwarf Cayman came from the same two Curvier's Dwarf Cayman. But they, like, bred so fast that, like... And, okay, so Curvier's Dwarf Cayman need to be alive for, like, 10 years before they get out of juvenile. So I just have a bunch of Curvier's Dwarf Cayman that are babies that I can't get rid of, because they're babies. And it's like... I've been trying to... I gotta make a zoo where I just only have Curious Dwarf came in and I grow them up. And then I sell them and then I delete the zoo. That's what I have to do, because like... So yeah. I'm probably gonna do Curious Dwarf came in next episode. If not, now monitors. And if not, now monitors. Um... Oh, by the way, all these are like gold star and all monitors from my other zoo, but I think they're all females. Yeah, I don't think I have a male now. I'd have to buy a new male, which is honest. Oh, wait, no, I have a male. Your fertility is zero, so no. I'd have to buy a new male. Um, I'll see if I can find an albino one right now. If I can find an, an albino male Nile monitor for, like, cheap right now, I'll probably just get it, and that'll be the Nile monitor we use. Ooh, yeah, people just sell cheap Nile monitors. So, um... Yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It has been quite a while. This is the cheapest one. Going with the cheapest one. Um, 
yeah, we're not gonna set them to zoo yet, but um, we're gonna pick one of these from my my line. I'll probably just pick the best one. So we're going to do we're gonna do Nora and Amir for now. But um, yeah, that is you know that, that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Uh, leave names, new names for Amir and and uh, Nora. Uh, leave suggestions for the next animal to do after those, and um. I guess, uh, I gotta come up with an outro phrase that isn't just bye. Leave, leave suggestions for that, too. <laughs> but I guess for now, it's just gonna be, um, bye. <laughs>